control V. All right, so I just have this one little piece. That one little piece isn't going to do very much for my design. I need a pattern. So I need to figure out exactly how I want to do it. If I want to have them connected here or have them connected here. I think I'm going to try connected maybe here on this corner. Um, let's see how that works. So I'm going to zoom in. Um, and then again, it's just command or for Windows control J. It duplicates that layer. This is just popping up over here to tell me it's done. Um, now I'm going to edit, transform. Now I'm going to see what happens if I flip it horizontally. Oops, don't want to do that. Need to make sure you're on move tool. V for move. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and slide these together. And even make them. Yeah. There we go. I'll just keep it like that. Now I'm going to take these two. Select them both, Command or Control J. This just makes sure that everything is aligned together. If you keep doing it one by one, you're going to have them uh, more out of balance than if you just did them by chunks. So now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to try Edit, Transform. And I'm really just playing with this. There's no right or wrong here. So I'm going to try Vertically. Okay, now I'm actually going to just drag this down here, line it up, and of course zoom in to just double check, okay, now I can leave it like this or I can keep going. I'm just going to see what will happen if I keep going. I can always decide not to. So again, Command or Control J. And this time, um, actually I'm going to Command or Control T. And I'm going to rotate this 45. Hit Enter twice. And I'm just going to move this around just to kind of it's nowhere really. Hmm. All right, I'm going to do it again. Control Command T. 45 degrees again. Just see what I get. What I may do. It actually fits right inside there. So I'm going to hit Enter twice. Okay. And I'm going to make one more for the other side. So Command or Control J. This time I definitely want to flip horizontally. And I'm going to bring it over here. I'm going to zoom in to see what I'm doing. I'm not sure. Let's see. Probably put it towards here. Okay, this one needs to. Oops. And you gotta select these two. Now I can group these and make it easier, but I'm gonna group them all together when I'm done. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and oops, that's too much. Try to keep them in line. See this is where they're connected underneath. So I'm gonna try to make sure that's where they're also connected on the top two layers. So I'm gonna Select these two again and move them over. Right about there. Okay. Everything looks like it's pretty well centered. I'm just going to click on one and do that. Just 
see what I think. I'm thinking this is pretty good. I could go in and kind of round out these areas. I'm just going to leave it and kind of see what I like. So now what I'm going to do, I have this top one selected. I'm going to come down here, shift, select. So all of these are selected and I'm going to make these a group. New group from layers. And I don't know, uh, curvy shapes. So. And bring it up. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put it in here. This I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of. And I'm going to highlight all of these. So obviously my shapes are nowhere near the rest of my Where did my shape? Oh, I think I put my shapes inside. Yep. Alright, sometimes that happens. You have to make sure you go above here and not in the actual box. There we go. So I'm still in my move tool. I'm moving this group. I'm not really sure where I want to move it to yet. How big I want it. I'm going to go ahead and press Control T. And make it quite big. Maybe even rotate it. Just to kind of see where everything goes. I think I'm going to try that. I think I want the sh butterflies on top, so I'm going to go underneath both butterfly groups. And now I need to decide what blend mode I want for this, what looks best. So I'm just going to play around with it. I'm going to start with darken. So that would make it that you only see the lines up here, so you won't see them really inside very much. If you notice, if I push this eyeball to hide it, it doesn't change the inside too much except for these little pieces of grass. So that's kind of cool. I actually like that. Let's see what else we have. Multiply. And it just kind of creates a black shape. And you can't see the underneath anymore. Color burn. And it doesn't really fit the overall look. Nope. It still doesn't fit the look. Lighten. That's kind of cool. It, it puts a lot more of the image in there and kind of hides a lot of the inside. But you can't see the little trailing tips. That might be interesting. So again, I know this is taking a little bit of time. I'm just going to kind of randomly pick one of these things that I've seen. Just screen, I think. Lighten. I'll stick with lighten for now. Alright, so as you can see, I have all of these different pieces together and they build on each other. 